up, y'all? If you're looking for the link with Justin Timberlake, the 2020 experience debuted at number one with 980,000 plus records sold. The link is in the description below. This is just another view. You don't have to watch this, but since you're on here, you might as well check it out. Yeah, so the results, they come in and uh, Justin Timberlake has moved 980,622 copies this week, easily taking over number one on the Billboard 200. Um, yeah, this is JT's best first week sales ever. Um, Future Sex slash Love Sounds, which I think was better than this, just my opinion. Um, it sold 684,000 first week. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is the, the highest selling first week from a male artist since Lil Wayne sold 964,000 uh, copies. Um, yeah, that's that's a good look. That's a real good look. Um, to me, I thought the album was cool. I thought the album was pretty good. You feel me? Um, Justin Timberlake has a, you know what I'm saying, he has a pretty huge fan base. So, you know, I think this album was highly anticipated, and I think he dropped the right single at the right time. Me, I don't like the single. It seemed like it's kind of growing on me, but I don't like the single. I think the album was good, though. He made a solid album. I did a review on that. You can check that out, too. But, yeah, I just... I just had to inform that that's a good look for music, man. That's a real good look for music, no matter if it's R&B, hip-hop, or what race. It don't matter. Just anybody who loves music, bro, that's a great look to show that units are selling. You feel me? So good look for Justin, man. Shouts out to you, bro. Good look, bro. Good look. If I had your Twitter, I would tweet this to you. You feel me? But good look, man, and great work on the album, man. And you know what I'm saying? Keep it coming. With that being said... I just want to inform everybody, let everybody know. You feel me? Come and let me know what you think about that. And tell me what's your favorite song on the album. You feel me? I'm going to do it like that. Tell me what's your favorite song on the album. And comment. Let's talk about it. How you feel about the 980 plus thousand copies sold. If you're watching this, if you're watching this, if you watching this, I'm sure you purchased it because you clicked on it. So salute to you for buying the music. You feel me? So, <laughs> so yeah, comment. Let's talk about it. Um, Hit me up on all the social networks. Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, Kick, the all in the description below. Um, again, I have like a lot of links down there. Oh, but if you do hit me on Twitter, make sure you let me know which video brought you there. That way I can retweet it, favorite it, and shout you out to my followers. And I'll follow you back, so that way you can possibly get some followers off of me. Um, I just uploaded a mixtape like three days ago. That link's down there, so you can, you know, you can listen to that if you want to, or check it out, or download it. You can do whatever you want to. I have a vlog channel. I would recommend you subscribe to that, too. Um, I'm always giving more updates to what I'm going to do, like when I'm going out or chilling with my son, going to the studio, or just everyday life stuff. It's, it's real dope and hilarious and funny, man. It's real cool. If you think you like my personality, I'll say subscribe to that. You can check out a couple of videos, and if you like it, I'll say subscribe. Um, I have a music check a music page with like videos from my new mixtape. You can check that out, too. And just hit me up on all the social networks, man, everything, the links in the description below. I appreciate you so, so much. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe. And you know what I'm saying? Share the video, man. Put me on. Put me on. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Y'all take it easy. This the shit I ever